You are listening to The Mind of AGP, a weekly take on marketing, video, storytelling, and, well, the world. Here is your host, Adam Grubb. Welcome in to The Mind of AGP. I'm your host, Adam Grubb, and the show this week brought to you by Adam Grubb Productions. Your story told differently. Visit tolddifferently.com to change your video marketing forever. Let's talk about story. Let's get right into it. Let's not waste time here, people. Every week we talk about big brands and video and marketing and and how they connect emotionally to an audience and how their videos move people to action. There is nothing that moves people to an emotion and a connection more clearly than music. And I was introduced to a storyteller early in my life and still to this day, the singer-songwriter is one of my favorite genres of music. But there's one guy that has been with me forever because he's been with my father forever. And I have listened to him through osmosis, and now I have gotten into the music, and he is one of the all-time classic storytellers. Like him, love him, or hate him, you cannot deny his storytelling ability through the power of music and song. Who is he? Bob Dylan is a master storyteller through the power of music. There's no doubt about it. Now, his voice has changed, yes. His behavior on stage and his antics are weird. But he's a never-ending tour. He's been touring for some 40 years, 50 years. I don't even know how long. He's in his 70s. He still sells out. People still go to see him. Even if they can't understand him, they don't care. They know the stories. And they've grown up with his music. And I remember, just like listening to Bob Dylan... Also listening to Simon and Garfunkel, listening to Harry Chapin, listening to people that tell stories through song. Now, that art has been lost or has been shifted a little bit in the recent 20 to 30 years in popular music. There are still some singer-songwriters that are telling a a really cool story. Um, But back then, in the 60s and 70s, it was was a pretty linear story. like You could follow it. Today, there's a lot of of differences in in the music and how the storytellers are, are telling their stories, but or the singers are telling their stories, but nonetheless, there's still a power of story in music. And to become a master storyteller through music is one thing. To become a master storyteller on stage is another thing. Billy Crystal, incredible. If you've ever watched him or listened to him tell a story, he's mesmerizing. Now, I'm not a huge Billy Crystal fan. Um, Princess Bride, of course, he's fantastic. But outside of that, I don't know. My Giant? Come on. Give me a break. Throw a moment from the train? No, thank you. Billy Crystal, however, on stage, 700 Sundays is a fantastic book and a fantastic uh, HBO special, and it was a Broadway play at one point as well. He was talking about his 700 Sundays with his dad. And um, that was the amount of time that he had with his father and what they would do on Sundays. And it's, it's just incredible. The journey he takes you on from birth to death, and it's it's you connect, and you think, and you 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 feel, and you want to you want to call your dad, you want to call your parents right then because of his stories, and because of, of of that. That is the power of story. Steve Jobs, another a fantastic, amazing storyteller. He sold Apple. He sold the iPhone with story. He was a designer, yes, and he was a business person, yes. He was a salesperson. He was a storyteller. And he was able to get you to want something that wasn't even out yet and clamor for it because of his stories and his ability to, to, to connect emotionally with his product through the power of story. Now, video has changed that and has helped people do that. But some of them do not take full advantage of the power of story to get their products sold, their services sold or explained, their uh, connection to their company They just showcase something. They don't tell a story. And if you can learn anything from Steve, from Billy, from Bob, learn the power of story is all, in most cases, all it takes to change someone's mind rather quickly because now they're feeling something. So your next marketing meeting, say, what is our story? What is our purpose? What is our goal? Yes. What is our objective? Of course. But what 
are we get, trying to get people to feel? What do we want them to do right after they see or read this advertisement? What's the story we're telling? Figure that out and then go tell it. Much like Bob Dylan, much like Harry Chapin, Simon and Garfunkel, Billy Crystal, Steve Jobs, and the rest of the phenomenal storytellers of our generation. Be that, and you will see change in your marketing, you'll see change in your company, and you'll see change in your structure. The power of story is no doubt. This is the Mind of AGP, May 15, 2019. Enjoy your week. Visit tolddifferently.com to change your video marketing forever and tell your story differently.